In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys an IKEA hat. I'm transforming this IKEA desk into a marble modern luxury glam desk. What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an IKEA hack which is turning my IKEA desk into marble. So if you guys didn't check out the video, you should check out the video when I actually purchased this and how I put it together. And I gave a lot of insights on this and a lot of you guys asked questions about it. Um, yes, it's still very sturdy and it lasts, but the only thing that I found I didn't like about it, it chips so easily and gets so dirty. Like I really have not been using this desk, but I constantly clean it. As you can see, anything touching it, it's gonna have these like marks on it, which is understandable because it's white. But I don't know if you guys can see this. I have chipping and stuff like that on here, which I do not like. Other than that, I think it's a really good buy. So I would suggest you guys buy that. Again, I'll put it in the link below if you want to. But today we're gonna be doing a hack, like I said. I'm gonna be making this desk marble. Now, I don't know how this is gonna play out. I had this idea to try it because I wanna tie in with the blacks in my room. As you can see, almost everything, like I said before, is from Ikea in my room. But as you can tell, I have a black frame. That was from my old desk that was black. And then I have the black stand. Of course, the other black mom organizer. I have a black mom closet. And I also have the dresser here. And I have some incorporated black there. So I'm gonna see if I can tie this color in with this like you can see you see where I'm going with that it might just tie it in a little bit better then I can figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my bedspread and all that because I did just get this throw and stuff I just got this and I put in another video I'm not quite sure how this is gonna tie in. I don't really like this so hopefully when I put this on you can see a difference with all that because it's a part of a transformation so you guys can see but let's get straight into this part which you guys came for is turning this into marble with contact paper that I got from Walmart for starters, let's remove everything off of the desk. Now let's just give it a quick little wipe. So like I said, super easy to clean. I'm showing you, it looks like pure white. You can't even see a difference. The only thing you see are these scratches like I told you about there that one there and this chip so hopefully we're gonna use that contact paper to cover all of this up and revamp this whole area okay so what I will be using is contact paper that I got from Walmart I had one of these I don't know if you call this not a squeegee I don't know what it is but that's from the vinyl that I do in my car I have a Zacto knife just in case and then some regular scissors I'm not gonna measure anything I don't know if you guys are some of those people that do but I'm not and just to show you guys these are all the different ways you can use it, which are really nice on the jars. And that's how it should look on the desk. I don't think I'm going gold yet. I could spray black, but I kind of like the white probably. And then, of course, you can do any kind of crafting and collage and stuff like that. But we're going to be doing it on the desk. And this was only like $6 you can get from Walmart or you can get the one if I put it from Amazon. They actually have a bunch of different types of marble designs, like some with golds and things like that. But I just figured this is going to match so much better to tie in some of the black. I just needed something slight, basically. These instructions. I almost cut the dog on paper. Instructions. Should be clean, smooth, dry. Did that. Cut to fit to overlap for edges. Cool. So I'm just going to line it up to see how much I would need. I'm trying to think if I want to go over. Do I want to hang over? That might actually look good. So I haven't, that better have been enough to go from there. Oh snap. Guys, I didn't cut long enough. Tell you what, I'm just gonna have to improvise. So just lining the edges up like so. All right, for this part, I kinda just wanna cut right here to give it some space. Peel back process. And I'm just rolling. 
rolling it up so I can see the back side like this and make sure all I this was already messed up before I even got mine so I can't really help that part but I'm just gonna have to go with it and try not to get any air bubbles if possible try not to bend it as you can see that's the way mine came from the store hard to do with one hand I'm just trying to show you guys but I'm gonna put it up so I can make sure I get these bubbles out all the way down and I'll show you guys what I do to the corners afterwards alright guys I had my first mistake I had to lift that up because I realized I wasn't leaving room for this so I might as well go ahead and start pulling some of this down I think to stick you can see it gives nice clean edges too but I was kind of pushing it that way some so I kind of got to pull it this way if that makes sense as I'm laying it down I almost forgot about that part which you got to make sure you be careful for as you're pulling this make sure you have enough room on the edge unless you're gonna cut an extra piece and then lay it over that but that has to be even so that's a whole nother process got so far as you can see no air bubbles or anything like that you don't hear a single pop edges are good lines are nice and sharp that kind of looks cool with one of those split ones I think I've seen people do that before too but I think I need to make the whole thing marble So I decided I am going to put the other side marble, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that same process you guys saw, and then I'll show you the final picture. You can see the desk is done. Try to envision it without that stuff because that's going to be gone, but I wanted to show you guys because I'm doing a transformation as well on my desk area, so I'm going to have my computer and all that stuff up there, and I'll show you guys a little picture, but for now, I think that's going to tie in those parts, and when I get my decor, my pillows, and then 
like I said, all the other stuff when they get fixed up, I'm getting more white. And then the other, you know, like I said, the decorations and stuff, it's going to bring it out more. And I think it helps tie in those colors because those pillows and stuff aren't doing it justice. But I am having like the blacks and grays so you can see where I'm going with it. And then just keep watching the series so you can see when I develop it. But this video is just a hack on the desk so you guys can see. It turned out really good. You don't see the bubbles. You don't really see any seams or anything like that. Just a little bit. I did have some errors, but you know, it's my first time doing it, so it's okay. Um, looking at it, you can see the little corners jacked up, but yeah, for the most part, I, I think I did pretty good. I actually like it though. Okay guys, here's the final review of my desk with the other desk decor that I had on before. You can see the marble turned out pretty good. It looks good with the stuff, but I see slight errors that I want to change with the desk. So I had a black monitor stand, like I said, I'm not using, and I got a white organizer from Five Below, and I can see I want to get black mouse pads and stuff of like that, just to tie in the colors a little bit better, the black and gold. But you guys can leave a comment and let me know what you think. You can see the full view. I'm I'm gonna be changing some stuff so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can catch everything and leave a comment and let me know what you think but i'll catch you guys in the next video jam, 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 jam.